DC Mike TV right here waiting for the couple boxing fans. And what's your name? Where y'all from? Uh, I'm Dad Johnson. I'm originally from Richmond, Virginia. Dad and Scott and Stewart from Detroit. All right, nice. I see you got the money team gear. Y'all got the Mayweather shirts on. How huge of a boxing fan are you guys and Floyd Mayweather? Oh, very big. Yeah, I, I, I take a lot from him. His lifestyle, his work ethics, um, a little bit of his character, and so forth and so on. So, uh, I take a lot from him. Is this your first time meeting Floyd Mayweather? Oh, I met him five, six times. No. Nah. been up my last seven or eight of his fights in Vegas. Nice. Huge Mayweather fans. Okay. Now, how, how long have you been following boxing? Uh, my whole entire life. And, and he is positively one of the greatest I've ever seen in any era. He's a superstar. Wow. Greater than Muhammad Ali? Yeah, I think defensively. De defensively, yes. Yeah, and offensively, too. He just, he's a real genius. He comes in shape all the time. All the time. Never, never gets out of shape. Yeah. He's never out of it. Yep. So, anything you guys are going to say to Floyd Mayweather when you meet him? Anything in particular? Yeah, just, really? just keep inspiring, man. We, we got your back. We support it. We here all the way. Uh, just keep, keep keep inspiring. You know, and keep leaving that legacy for not only his kids but for others. Right, right. What about you? Anything you gonna say to Floyd Mayweather? Do you think? What up? Good to see you again. Uh, oh, you know, I looked up to him for many years. I think aside of a boxer, he's one of the greatest athletes of our era. Uh, he's just a legendary dude, man. Great cat. Cool. Did you guys see the charity basketball game he did? Yeah, the game. Oh, the the, the, uh, the move. Yeah, so what what'd you guys think of the game? It was good. It was good. <laughs> good for two. It was good. Um, and once again, I like how you handle this so, that whole situation because you know everybody's not everybody, but you know you got a certain people that they want to see him fail at something or uh, to slip up at something. So you know, um, for him to for him to show humility in it. I mean, he's all, he's playing in it when he doesn't have to. You know, I think that's great within itself, man. So for him to be active and stuff like that, the charity basketball events and stuff like that, I think that speaks for itself. Right. What about you? Do you think people are more focused on him getting crossed up as opposed to him doing well, you gotta the... you got to understand, most people, unfortunately, like to see people fail. <laughs> and you got a lot of loyal Mayweather fans like us, but you probably have more people that don't like him because he's undefeated and he's perfect. So you always have people that are hating on him and want to see him fail. But you couldn't do it in the boxing ring. You can't do it in life. Exactly. So you get a professional street ball player that crosses him, who does it to everybody every day. Right, right, right. That's all it is. Right. Right. Yeah. So do you think you guys think he, maybe people should focus more on the, the charity portion and yeah, get it back? Yeah, most definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, focus on how he loves himself and his family, you know, first and foremost, you know, and, um, and, then, and, and, the, and the positive things that he does in the community you know, and across the, across the world. Yeah. You know, he's always in the different countries, doing different stuff. Um, I know I know at least five people personally that work for him, and they've been with him for years. Nice. So one of them is best friend. Nice. Um, we went to school together. So, you know, I, I, I watch how he handles, how he interacts with them, and it says a lot about him. So. Right. 